Well, there's also another long answered question since Hurricane Ian hit, and that question is, what will the future of Fort Myers Beach look like? Will that feel of old Florida still be there? As we know, it was ground zero. Well, tonight, our Fox 4's Colton Chavez is getting those answers for us as the conversation continues when it comes to rebuilding rules on Fort Myers Beach. Colton, specifically on how tall and wide both businesses and residential properties can be. What did you find out today? Nadine, well, you hit it right on the head. The fear from residents that we've heard all along is that they don't want Fort Myers Beach and its traditional feel to look like our East Coast. We're talking about those large high rises. And one piece that really dictates how an area can build is their floor area ratio, more commonly called the FAR. Now, what that does for context is the lower your building is to the ground, the wider and more dense it can be. And as it goes up, the less dense and less wide that it can be. So the decision that was made from beach leaders on Monday is that they want to keep their town's FAR the way it was before Hurricane Ian. Now, that's huge. That's for commercial properties, and that's also for residential properties as well. So that really starts to pave the way moving forward for what the city, uh, the town of Fort Myers Beach will look like moving forward. And to give you some added context, I thought this was interesting. At the meeting on Monday, one beach leader said, take a look at Margaritaville behind us. So when we're talking about commercial properties, this building fits into the already established FAR code. They said, do we want commercial buildings to be any bigger than what we're seeing right now? And unanimously across the board, all beach leaders said, no, we do not want to see it be any bigger than that. But now the question remains, what does this mean for the neighborhoods that pass Margaritaville line this entire beach? And as we've shown you throughout the months, have been devastated by Hurricane Ian with a ton of people working to rebuild. Well, I'm getting into those neighborhoods and I'm going to ask those tough questions to people that are going through this process right now. If they feel keeping the FAR the way it was is a good idea. I'll have that story for you when I check in tonight on Fox 4 News at 10 o'clock. But for now, live from a very busy Fort Myers Beach, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.